What is that disgrace? Well, the interesting thing is the testimony was unanimously in favor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah nobody spoke against it. And the eyes of the nation are upon us. Mm -hmm. There's 20 states that have incorporated this right now that are fighting it. I know Glenn Beck's going to be Well, <laughs> there's 12 states that have incorporated HCR6. Of those 20. Last week there were eight. This week there are 20. I'm trying not to get discovered. You mentioned Glenn Beck. I have to go back and print up my TV again tonight. Oh, no, no, I know you're going to be on Glenn Beck tomorrow, right? <laughs> yes, I am. Oh, my love that guy. Are you going to be on TV or on the radio show? On TV. Oh, oh that's you are so awesome. Show? <laughs> Oh, that is so God, awesome. please tell him I feel alone. Please help me. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to tell him he's not alone. Oh, that is God. Great. He is, he, that um, I thank you for being here. I think it's uh, shameful that the news press of the state are not here for an announced press conference on the legislature taking an action to affirm their rights relative to the federal government that has gained attention across the nation. We had a shameful event this last afternoon when House Resolution 6 was heard in committee. There was not one person to speak against it. The room was packed and approximately 20 people spoke in favor of the, of the resolution. In the past week, we have received communications from across the state and across the nation, and everyone has been positive in thanking us for taking this stand against the encroachments of the federal government. Today, the state federal committee voted in expedient to legislate on House Resolution 6, affirming states' rights based on Jeffersonian principles. Those who offered the ITL made not one argument in favor of their position, though nearly every person voting against the motion had st substantive arguments against it. I guess there is uh, nothing more disappointing when those who swear to uphold the constitutions run from their duty. But the nation has looked at this resolution. Last week there were eight states, including ours, that had resolutions of this type. This week there are 20, and the additional 12 were spurred by our resolution. From here we go to the floor of the House of New Hampshire. And maybe, just like no real ID, we shall win the day.